Hi friends, have you guys heard about Microsoft Outlook Groups? If you haven't, this is a video for you. So let's get into it. All right, so I have learned recently about this uh, place inside of Outlook called Groups where you can connect um, multiple groups to multiple different Microsoft applications and see it all in one place. And what do I mean by that? Well, I mean that you could take a Microsoft team, so let's say it was a team of six people, and you could connect them into this group which then gives you the opportunity to send Outlook events to them, Outlook emails to them, um, a OneNote that's shared, a SharePoint that is connected to all of it, and you can see the files and folders all in this one place. So if you're interested in something like that and your team is looking for something like that, let's check out Microsoft Groups. So I'm gonna share my screen here. This is the home side of Microsoft Groups. Now, how to create a Microsoft Group, you're gonna go to the top left icon here and choose New Group. Notice here you've got New Event and New Mail. We're gonna talk about that in just a minute, but first we need to create a group. So I'm gonna call this group YouTube. Notice that it creates an email address. Um, you can choose to create a description here and you can choose if you want it to be private or public. Um, so private is only approved members can see what's inside. Public is anyone in your organization, organization can see it. So I'm gonna choose to make it private. And then you can choose um, a subscription option, which members will receive all group conversations and events in their inboxes, and they can stop following this group if they want to at any point. So that's pretty cool where you can make it like almost like a mailer for your team. Um, if you uncheck this, they won't have the option to basically leave it from an email, but they still have a way to leave the group. I'm gonna click create and go into the next part of it, which is adding the members. So right now I'm just gonna add Bobby for the time being, just to give you an example. You can choose to give him member access and owner access. <laughs> this is important. Notice that these words are pretty similar to many of us in this community who know a lot about Microsoft Teams. These are actually the same um, titles that you give somebody inside a Microsoft Teams team or channel. So this is going to reflect a team and you do wanna keep that in mind. So I'm gonna give him member access for now and click add. Once I do that, it's going to fully create my group and I can choose to go into it right here. Um, notice I have a few options when inside. Um, this is from the home screen though, so I'm gonna drop this down and go to the group itself. Okay, this is the other way that you can view it. So, you got a, f well, you got a lot of things on this screen. You've got email, files, events, and members. Emails are anything that's going to the email youtube at axiom.tech and you can um, choose, you know, wherever you want to share this. You can even connect it to whatever Microsoft product you'd like. Then you've got the files. This is tied to the Microsoft team that might be connected to this or the SharePoint library that's connected to this. Um, also the OneNote um, pages that are connected to it. So this file section, if you don't know anything about SharePoint, then you're not gonna know much about this area. This is literally pulling from SharePoint. So if you don't know anything about that, I can link a video in the description below that talks about SharePoint and how you can use it so that um, if you wanna go to that after this video, you can. You've got events. This is connected to your Outlook calendar, but it's connected to the Outlook calendar for that email. So if this email, gets added to any event, it's going to show it here. For some of you guys, you're wondering how can you use this for your team? Well, if you have reoccurring meetings that has the entire staff on it, you can choose to use groups and um, only send out one event with one email attached to it and that sends it to your entire company 
rather than trying to invite every single person <laughs> for every single event that you have. So that could be helpful for you. Then you've got the members tab. This shows you everybody who's there. It also shows their title inside of the company and it shows their role inside of this group. I'm gonna go over here to the top right section because this is a very important section. Um, you can choose to send an email out to all of the members of this group. So when I click on this, it is going to send an email out and it's gonna send it to the YouTube at axiom.tech, but because everybody is in that group, the people that are in that group will get that email. So this is a way to send mass emails to your team um, without having to add every single person every single time. Next, you can see um, the settings for your inbox. So you can choose to receive all emails and events or only repri replies to you in the group or receive only replies just to you or don't receive any group messages from this group. Um, then you've also got the settings here. You could choose to change a lot of different settings in the group, um, what people can and can't do and the connectors inside of it. I'm not gonna get into that right now because we could dive all into the rules and whatnot inside of this specific inbox, but for now, I'm just gonna keep it simple. You can choose to add a member right here. So if you missed that step earlier on, it's okay. You can choose to add them later. Then you can go directly to the OneNote planner and site that's connected to this group. So remember how I said that file section is pulling from SharePoint? Well, it's pulling from this site right here. Boom, the YouTube site. So it connects it all in one place. This is very, very helpful and keeps everybody efficient. Let's keep going. The last part I wanna show you is in the top left corner of your screen where you can choose to edit the group which what you can do here is you can choose to edit the name, the email address, the description, basically everything that you set up at the very beginning. So if you end up wanting to change that later on, you can. Oh, before I leave this part, you can also choose to delete the group right here. So if you wanna end up removing it later on, you can. All right, you can also add a member up here, invite others. Okay, you might be wondering, <laughs> Why is add a member and invite others different? And the answer is because if you click invite others, you have the option to share a link with somebody. So somebody in your organization um, can click on that link and choose to join the group in that way um, rather than you just adding them directly. You can also choose to send an email to somebody too. It'll send the, the group link here. So the reason that I would choose the invite others option is let's say you had a staff of 150 people and you wanted to add all of those 150 people inside of this group, that would not be very fun to, <laughs> to add each one of those members one at a time by clicking each one of them. So instead, just copy the link, send one email, to all of the people and then boom, you're done. So then you can also choose to leave the group. So let's say you wanted to create a group for a certain section of your company. Let's say it was the sales team, but you yourself are not part of the sales team. You can create all of this for the sales team and then just choose to leave the group once you're done and you don't have to be in the group for ever. <laughs> Guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. It was a quick one. I went through it pretty, pretty fast. So if you have any questions, comments, concerns, please make sure to comment down below so I can answer any questions you might have. And if I don't know the answer, maybe somebody else in the community does and they can help you out. Um, if you like Microsoft Groups, you want to hear more about it, you want to get an in-depth tutorial on it that's a lot more than just the basics from this video, make sure to like the video so that I know that you want to see more. And hit the subscribe button if you want to be notified anytime I create new content. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!